What's up? We're back. We're gonna watch another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm on episode three. And last time we got to see that backstory about the brothers and how they tried to revive their mother and it didn't really work out. Uh, Alphonse got his body like completely disintegrated and Edward was brought into this weird thing and there's like these shadowy hands and he talked to something named Truth which showed him how to do like the perfect uh, human transmutation and uh, <clears throat> but he had to exchange his left leg and then he uh, bonds his brother's soul to that piece of armor and later on Mustang gets word of what happened and he suggests to Edward that he should go and take the, the alchemist test. Edward does it without using any transmutation circles, shows that he is a prodigy and then he is given the most badass nickname, Full Metal Alchemist, even though his brother is literally full metal. This craziness, what happened? And uh, so what are we gonna get in this episode? This episode is called The City of Heresy. What city is that? I don't know, but I wanna know who the frick that female character was with that thing that was eating something on the ground. I still really wanna know what's going on with that. So hopefully the city of heresy is that city um, that they were in. So anyways, I'm ready to get into this. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll shave my beard at a thousand subscribers and let's go. Do we look like street performers to you? Yeah, that's why I yeah. am. Let's go out. <laughs> hey, easy, I didn't mean nothing by it. I'm sorry, accident. We'll fix it. How's that? It smashed to hell. Watch and learn, Gramps. <laughs> no problem for them. Okay, there he goes. There, see? How's that? Amazing. It's a miracle. You've been touched by the sun god, just like Father Cornell. <laughs> touched by who now? The it's not sun a god? It's alchemy. Oh, so you two are alchemists. Right, I've heard of them. Then maybe you've heard of us. We're the Elric brothers. Full metal alchemist, Edward Elric, is that right? That's him. <laughs> so you're the young prodigy to tell all the stories about? probably talking to you. You mean it's the little guy there? Don't let him come here and say that to my face, I dare ya! Uh... Lift thy voice so, to God what's with this guy on the radio? That, that's our leader, God Father Cornell. Oh. We were lost until he came to town and began teaching us all the ways of the sun god Leto. He grants eternal life to the souls of the faithful. He can even resurrect the dead. His miracles are proof that what he says is true. So this guy's huh. claiming he can bring the dead back to life? Now that's something I gotta see. He's wearing the same shirt as uh, Edward. Changing organic matter into inorganic matter. We shouldn't be able to do that unless... Yeah, there's just one way. Bingo. Oh, merciful God. Please hear me. Hear my prayer, I beg of you. Please bring him back. Yeah. So this is the almighty Lido. Water, 35 liters. Carbon, 20 kilograms. Ammonia, 4 liters. Lime, 1.5 kilograms. Phosphorus, 800 grams. Salt, 250 grams. Saltpeter, 100 grams. And various other trace elements. That list represents the complete chemical makeup of the human body for the average adult. It's been calculated to the last microgram, but still, there's never been one reported case of successfully creating a human life. And you're telling me something modern science can't do, you can do with prayer? Lift thy voice to God, and the prayers of the faithful shall be answered. Did I mention all those ingredients I read off? Down at the market, a kid could buy every one of them for the spare change in his pocket. Well, let's see, do they have proof that this guy can actually do it? Children of God, created in His image. <laughs> you have to understand, alchemists are scientists. We don't believe in unprovable concepts like creators or gods. Father Cornello, there are visitors here who wish to see you. A 
child and the man wearing a suit of armor. They would only give their names as the Elric brothers. I can't be fathered now. Just send them away. Wait, the Elrics? You're sure that's what they said? You're positive? Yes, Father. That's what they called themselves. But why would a state alchemist be here in Lior? Surely they can't have found out about our plans. It's possible this dog's nose is too sharp for his own good. our plans. We'll make this quick. Trying to kill them. Brother Cray, what is this? What do you think you're doing? Rose, these heathens have come to ensnare and discredit the father. They're evil. This is God's will. Brother Cray. Well, like you said, let's make this quick. Ah, the full metal alchemist. Welcome to the home of our sacred order. Father Cornello! I must apologize for my disciples' behavior. It would seem they've been misguided. Okay, let's say I believe you weren't the one guiding them. What next? Have you come to learn the ways of Leto? Well, there are a few things I'm curious about. Like how you've been using second-rate alchemy to deceive your followers. Look again. Could mere alchemy create something from nothing in this way? How can you perform transmutations that ignore the law of equivalent exchange? As I said, because it isn't alchemy! Then I started thinking about it. The philosopher's you stone or something? You acquire a certain object to amplify your alchemy. One that's said to make the impossible it's gotta possible. be, right? That would explain everything. What? I'm talking about the philosopher's stone. Yeah. Rose, dear. Yes, father? That gun there beside you, pick it up. Uh, okay. Is he gonna ask her to shoot them? Now, child, I want you to shoot the full metal alchemist. <laughs> I am the sun god's chosen emissary. My word is the word of Leto himself. This guy's evil. Shoot him, Rose. It's God's will. It was I who took your hand and led you into God's light. And do you recall what it was I promised you then? You said if I had faith, you'd bring it back to life. No! No, wait! It's not me, Mom. It's... Damn it, I'm the full metal alchemist! It's not him! It's me! It's the short one! You're <laughs> You should just wear a tattoo that says Sorry, Full Metal Alchemist. Have to do this. Whoa. Ow. Good. God Leto is pleased. You have done well, my child. Now pick up the gun and shoot the other as well. I'm gonna get right back up. You made her do They're gonna be screwed. <laughs> An empty suit of armor that walks and speaks? Do you still doubt it, Rose? This unholy thing is an abomination. Evil of this kind must be purged. What's he doing now? What is this? And I believe my camera should be up to the task. So this is the sort of thing you do with the philosopher. The heck? That's just twisted. Transmutation circle? So the state alchemist time is a prodigy. Show. You truly are gifted, however. <laughs> Your little spear is no match for Chimera Claws that tear through wire. <laughs> you shredded my pants. Oh. Fight him, you stupid beast! <laughs> Don't work you either. Like that, kitty? Go on, get a good taste. Ooh. I see. It's all becoming clear now. You did it, didn't you? The one thing even the most novice alchemist knows is strictly forbidden. Why don't you come down here and try me? I'll show you real quick who the novice is. Full metal alchemist. All right, let's go. This is what happens when you try to play God or whatever you want to call it. Take a good look, Rose. Is this what you want? <laughs> So this is the great full metal alchemist Edward Elric. Not even half a man. Hell, not even half a boy. And what are you? You're just a phony that can't do anything without a philosopher's stone. Father, we just want you to hand over the stone before you get hurt. If you fools are really so eager to play God, then perhaps I should send you to beat him instead. <laughs> Stand a chance against the prodigy. Just because you and your brother failed, that doesn't mean it doesn't mean he will. There you are, you 
you infernal brats. Yeah, but I don't think this Look, dude actually just cares took the about crap doing that. talk here. All I want are some straight answers about the stone. Tell me what I need to know and I'll be on my way. Because with each miracle I can attract new believers to the order. Believers who would lay down their lives for my sake. I'm slowly building an army, a legion of holy warriors unafraid to die. In a few more years, I'll be ready to unleash this mindless horde upon the world. And I'll use the Philosopher Stone to tear this country apart. Who knows? I might even carve out a slice for you. <laughs> yes, wait, what are you laughing about? I knew it. You really are a novice, aren't you? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh. There were never any miracles, Rose. <laughs> so much for your plans, man. Right to everyone. Why you? How long? How long has that been on? From the start, I, your I, believers I, I, heard every word. I am without rival. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's a rebound. No, I won't be disgraced like this. Now, boy, behold, the chosen emissary of the sun god Leto! <laughs> My word is the divine word of God himself. My fist is the almighty fist of judgment! Oh, yeah. You don't even believe the stuff you're saying, man. <laughs> Hey. I mean, we went through all this, risked our lives for this one possible chance, and it's a fake. So, so uh, what about me? So how? I don't care what you do, just get out of here. So how is he doing this stuff then? Yeah, I don't while, get it. Thought we'd really found a way to get your body back. Give me the philosopher's stone. Rose. Like I was just saying, it was a fake. It wasn't real. And besides. Shattered now. Liar! You want to keep it for yourself, don't you? So you can use it on your bodies. That's right. And so you can try to bring your mother back again. You shut up! People don't come back from the dead, Rose. Not ever. Not ever. But he promised me. He said if I prayed, it would happen. Stand up and walk. Keep moving forward. You've got two good legs, so use them. You're strong enough to make your own path. Yeah. Yes, all that hard work for nothing. I knew we should have just incited a little rebellion. You. I'm hungry, lass. Can I eat the old man, please? He's big and fat. Not this one. His legs are tiny. How does we he don't even want walk? You or does he even gesture. walk? I don't even know. Now you two, everyone has mocked me. I won't stand for... <laughs> I'd say this concludes our business. Father won't be pleased. In any case, it's time we started thinking about our next move. Oh. Wow, so that was a pretty good episode. Um Edward and Alphonse thought that uh they were finding someone who possibly had a, a philosopher's stone. This guy was trying to play God. He was getting a lot of people to believe in him and stuff. I mean Edward knew that something was up, something wasn't right. And it was uh it was revealed that you know he was just trying to build an army i guess it turned out that he was kind of working for uh 
lust. I was kind of confused on how he was doing that stuff if the Philosopher's Stone was fake. But she just killed him at the end. I mean, he was probably going to die anyway by all those... There were a lot of angry people. Rightfully so. The search for the Philosopher's Stone continues with the Elric brothers and... Uh, still have a lot of questions about lust and that that dude who eats people just want to know what what they're up to like what are they trying to do so anyways that's gonna do it for this reaction i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe and of course thanks for watching I'll see you next time peace